practical Raspberry Pi projects. Now before we start, I'd like to mention that all the projects I cover today have individual instructional guides on how to set them up as well as how to use them. So if you're into that, please like, comment, subscribe and we'll get into it. Number one, a proxy server with smart DNS for use with Netflix or other geoblocking sites. Now the problem with Netflix, at least in Australia, is the catalog hasn't got half as much as the US one. By setting up your Pi with a smart DNS provider and a proxy server, you can view Netflix that the US has or other content without routing all your traffic to it. 1.1 Proxy Server with VPN for torrenting. Now this one's more of a side note of number one, that's why it's 1.1, but the idea is you use a VPN with your torrent client so you're not routing all your traffic on your main PC to download torrents. Number two, a Kodi box. Now Kodi is a great media streaming center and there's plenty of add-ons so you can get the most out of it. Number three, an MP3 player. Now, as silly as this sounds, I've actually found myself having to do this. I misplaced my MP3 player, I was in the car for a road trip, and sure enough, all I had on me was my Raspberry Pi, my battery bank, and a 3.5mm jack. So, hooked it all up, and there we go, had some music. And the beauty of this is you don't, you're not relying on a 3GB MP3 player. You can hook up an external hard drive, and you're ready to go with about 2 gig or more. Oh, sorry, uh, 2 terabytes or more. Number 4, Retro Gaming Console. Now I won't get too much into this because there's a lot of videos out there that cover it, but for all your classic games from SNES, NES, the Game Boy, the Raspberry Pi can actually play them, and there's distros out there that are made to play these games. Number 5, Alexa Voice Recognition Box. From Amazon Echo comes Alexa, it's like Google Voice, but you can ask the time, weather, do searches, make purchases, do custom options. It's a fun, easy project, and you can also develop for it. Number 6. A digital video recorder or DVR for short. And this is one of the first projects I've done and it's amazing how easy it was. All you needed was a USB webcam or camera module. I used a webcam myself and installing some software and straight away I could watch it streaming from any location. Number seven, Pirate Radio. Now this is an interesting project and I don't think it really fits in so much with the whole list of practical implementations but there was a situation where I was in a car, I didn't have an MP3 player, a 3.5mm jack and a CD player, and I wanted to listen to music. So with this, I could set up a radio station broadcast to the actual car's radio and play the music. Number 8. A pen test machine. Using a distribution like Kali Linux, you can get the most out of your distro with the vast security tools. Now I'll go into this more in a later video, but it's a great thing I've used on many occasions. Number 9. A torrent server. Now unlike 1.1 where we just had the Raspberry Pi acting as a VPN for torrenting, this one we moved the whole torrent server across to the Raspberry Pi. Now the advantage of that is you don't have additional software on your computer, and other people on different computers can access that computer and run it as well. Number 10, Automatic Notification Center. Now this puts you more into the coding aspect of the Raspberry Pi and its actual sheer potential there, but I use the Raspberry Pi to get email notifications, uh, weather notifications, basically taking the RSS feed using curl and sending an email off to myself. So in the morning I get my alarm going off and straight away I've got the weather, I've got my to-do list, I've got notifications. It's brilliant. And that's it. That's my practical list of Raspberry Pi projects that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, if there's anything you'd actually add to it, let us know and enjoy.